Fine. This is Paolo. Welcome to my channel. So on this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to set up your domain name with your Google Cloud instance. So log into your console, and from here, click on that hamburger icon, and click on Compute Engine. If you already created a project, uh, it should show listed here, as you could see. Uh, if you want a tutorial on how to set this up, check out my previous videos, which are also in the description below. So for this one. Um, I set up this instance with a static IP address, which is this one. Now, there's two ways to configure this. One is using the static IP, and one is using the cloud DNS. So already you set up this one using the static IP. So I'm using GoDaddy as my register. And from here, let me just quickly refresh this. And from here, you just need to create an A record. So from your registry, uh, just click on add and then click on uh, select type as A record. And from here, just put the add sign and point the value. And you could do this twice. If you have a subdomain, you could point the subdomain, like my, in my case, blog to that IP address. So just by doing this setup without doing the DNS, this already works. So if I go to my blog, you can see that's serving from the Google Cloud Engine. So I'm going to try to change this and do the alternate method, which is the using the Cloud DNS. So to get that started, I already copied the IP address. Click on that hamburger icon menu, scroll down to the section below, and click on Network Services, and then click on Cloud DNS. And from here, you click on the Create Zone. And I'm going to give it a name. And for the DNS name, this should be your domain name. You could add a description if like. Um, I keep the DNS sec as the default off. And there you have it. So these are the uh, default DNS name, but you don't have an A record yet. So I'm going to create uh, a record set. So click on this Add Record Set. Keep the DNS name blank, A record is fine, and I'm pointing to this um, static IP address. And I click on that. So now you have an A record. So I'm also going to do that for the WW and for the blog. So click that and that. Click save. Because I have a subdomain called blog.lapa.com, so I'm going to add that as well. So DNS is blog, and I want that blog to point to this IP address. So that that's it. I have now three records here, A records, and this is the uh, DNS that has been generated. You could also click on this register setup, and you would see it's the same thing. So copy this. And go back to your DNS management, and for GoDaddy, it should be here on the name server. So I'm going to click on Change, and I'm going to say Custom, and it only asks for two name servers. So you could actually add four if you like. So for the default, do that, and I'm going to add the rest. So do that. And I hit save. And you could potentially also remove, let's check the confirmation error below. What's that? Features may be available, process updates, something. Okay, so that's fine. So you could potentially also remove the A record that you created. You could delete this and the other one, but I'm gonna delete that once the DNS is propagated on my side the domain to point to your Google Cloud instance. Hope you like this tutorial. If you have questions or suggestions, uh, hit them up on the comments below. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers for now. Bye.